So, uh, so that's what God's going to get rid of. He has to get rid of this flesh because it's just totally deception. And uh, once once we're out of the way, I shouldn't say where, okay? Once our bodies, our flesh is out of the way during this age, we remain in God as thoughts in our created form. We'll always be there. We, we've always been in God as, as thoughts. Okay, we're, we're always in heaven. And that's heaven, by the way. God is heaven. That's everywhere. Heaven exists everywhere. So we're always in heaven. But we need an earthly body to experience our, earthly, our heavenly existence. You see? Does that make sense to you? That that right there has caused a lot of deception in religion. They just don't understand that concept. They think that the flesh is who we are. They, they, they think they know about this soul, of a, our, our soul that's within our flesh. They don't understand it. And that it kept them deceived the whole time. And religion is a deception, by the way. It had nothing to do with God except uh, pass on the scriptures, especially the Christ, uh, Judaism and Christianity. You know, all the other Muslims and all these other religions that came off of this, off of, because of the prophets, the words of the prophets. Uh, they, you know, even Buddhism and all those other. They came from the Babylonians and from Noah, you know, going east. They uh, all picked up on this. So they knew a little bit about creation and, you know, the flood and things like that in there. But they added all these other beliefs because they were sinners. They weren't, uh, there was no prof prophetic, uh, there was no prophets in their, in their people to uh, keep them in line like the Judaism. Okay? like the Hebrew and the Israelites, they had prophets that came along and they kept re-talking about the new the story and uh, kept the, the word alive. It wasn't the word, okay? They, they spoke the word, but they, it was just stories they needed and there, each prophet would get, hear the story and then that was vocabulary they needed. So they heard the story, they got the voc vocabulary and some of this some understanding, and then God used that vocabulary later on when He worked with, with the prophet, when He got to, when He got the, the the flesh of the prophet to obey Him, so He could speak or write through the through the prophet's flesh. Okay, the fle the prophets uh, died as sinners too. All right, but they were created as the Word, so the Word was with them was in them. They just, the sins blocked it. They couldn't get to it. But the Word was speaking through them. Anyway, forcing them to. Forcing them to obey and to write and to speak for Him. That's how all the prophecies were written. And the prophecy, prophecies uh, were just, they were, they were, for specific other prophets or specific groups or specific uh, people, saints or Jesus, Jesus received a lot of a lot of the prophecies, but then a lot of the prophecies were talking about the end times, the end, the very last day. A lot of prophecies in all the prophets spoke are about the last day. The, the the ones I'm speaking for God to end this. This the God gave me a whole bunch of prophecies, dreams, and images and images in my mind uh, last year to speak and or I should say write it down on paper uh, last January about the end about the destruction that's coming and about uh, the paradise afterwards. It was just 
unreal. It was crazy. I didn't understand any of that stuff from the Bible. I didn't get anything from the Bible. I looked up a few prophecies. That's all I needed. Everything else came into my mind as I was writing it. He gave me the words to write. I just wrote. Bum, 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 just like that. Okay? And, and that word that I was writing, that was speaking through me, is the word that's going to end this age. That He needed me here for those words to speak and to end this age. So things are already starting to happen. I've been hearing on the... I don't look at the news and stuff, but I... From, from what other people are saying in these in these forums that I'm, that I'm speaking in, preaching in, they, uh, you know, they're in the in the prophetic in the end times uh, forums. They're just they discuss the earthquakes and all these scientific things that are happening and uh, things like that. So that's where I'm hearing some of this stuff, and I, so I know that it's already is already taking place. Now, the uh, the whole thing started with a flood. You know, the flood covered up, messed up the whole surface of the earth, the crust. The crust used to be full of cracks. All kinds of cracks in there. Where there was hot jacuzzi tubs, you know, natural ones, flowing, hot water coming out of them, and steam, you know, and uh, things like that. That's what set the climate. They had them all over the world, all over this earth. And that kept the climate perfect within so, so, you know, who knows, 100 feet in the air, or however, a couple hundred feet, however high you needed it. But it was a perfect conditions for people to live. They didn't even have clothes. They didn't need clothes. Okay? They didn't need them. It's perfect weather. But then when the flood came, and I've discussed the flood before, but uh, that destroyed the surface. I mean, it created the oceans, created the mountains. You know, water went down and up. Now, I figured it out, and there was about 87, there's enough water to cover the earth in 8,700 deep feet deep of water. 8,700 feet deep. That's how much water is estimated to be on the earth. Scientists have figured that out approximately and then I just calculated it out that's a lot of water even if half of it was on top of the water on top of the earth that's enough to move things big time any weakness in the crust in any spot shh, sunk it as soon as that starts sunken, sinking something had to give because I tell you what, that hot magma underneath isn't going to give. That's way denser than the materials that are on the crust. So it had to shift, you see. Water going down here, rocks came up here. Hot lava, you know. Just totally chaotic. And it closed off most of the vents on the earth. I'll stop here.